I'm not fucking happy. Okay. No, I'm not. You see the title of this video. By the way, yes, yeah, another Pittsburgh rant. I haven't done one of these in a while. Um, but... Fuck me. Really? I thought we were done with this shit in fucking society. But apparently not. No. It's so fucking retarded. And I'm actually going to compare it to two other instances that happened within the last, like, two to three years, I think. Um, I have an article here on the internet. I'm not sure which site it's on. I really don't give a shit either. Uh, oh. Oh, wow, it's on Anime's News Network. I didn't know that before. Right, I'll, as I always do, I'll post a link to it in the description box below in case you feel like checking it out for yourselves. It has a video on it. I didn't watch because I know it's going to be fucking retarded. Them blaming Soul Eater for this garbage is titled Florida Teen says Soul Eater Manga. Slenderman inspired her to set home on fire. 14-year-old girl, girl charged with arson attempted murder. 14-year-old Florida girl allegedly lit her house on fire early uh, Thursday morning and then fled her report Richie home while her mother and 9-year-old brother slept. According to the police, she soaked a bed sheet and towel in rum and bleach and then lit it on fire in her home's garage. The teen spent the night stocked with clothes, bottled water, cookies, flashlights, lighters, and knives in a nearby park bathroom. Her mother and brother escaped the blaze unharmed. Firefighters searched the burning home three times looking for the girl. Her mother received a text message from her daughter saying, Mom, I'm so sorry. I don't, don't know why I did it. Did any of you get hurt? Police found and arrested the girl on one charge of arson and two charges of attempted murder. The teen said that she thought about lighting her house on fire after reading a, a, the Soul Leader manga. The manga story followed... Uh, Maka Alburn, a death god in training who must capture the souls of 99 evil humans and one witch. According to Hartwell, the story reminded her of being bullied and how her mother d disciplines her. Pasco C County. D oh, so I thought. Because I've never read the Soli Romanga or watched the anime, so I thought maybe it was like something. So, so someone committed arson quite a bit. But, okay, whatever. It's irrelevant, but, yeah. Uh, Detective Daniel Toner said, there, There's a part in this book where two characters are going to fight with each other all, all of a sudden that clicks something in her mind and she just decided she was going to kill her family. Police found the girl's diary where she wrote extensively about the fictional horror character's Slenderman in her diary, Hartwell wrote, If this keeps up, there will be no safety in this house. Uh, note, 10 News uh, ten news and other sites incorrectly state that the girl was reading SoulEater.com and that is a violent site related to Slenderman. Other sites reference the manga as a Japanese comic or an ebook that talks about killing Oh god. And that's pretty much it. Yeah. You can you see now why I'm not fucking happy here, okay? Oh god. I'm fucking speechless. And the thing is, I don't know why I'm so speechless because I've seen this kind of bullshit before, okay? Like Remember, like, two or three years ago when some kid, well, some guy uh, read the Death Note manga and committed suicide. Uh, remember, like, two or three years ago when this Russian guy was watching Naruto Shippuden on TV and he found out about, about Itachi's death and he committed suicide. Um, even though Itachi's death has been known in the manga since, like, 2008, I think. Yeah, remember those? I don't remember if I made videos on those or not, but yeah, the, that instantly fucking, or this instantly fucking reminded me of those two, and it's so 
fucking retarded. God damn. And you know they're going to fucking blame Soul Eater. Like, it, it kind of hinted it toward here too, but never specific, or it kind of hinted towards it in here, this article, but never specifically stated in the text that, yeah, they're blaming Soul Eater. I, and again, I haven't watched the, the video yet, because I don't, so I don't know if it did in there, but you know they're going to fucking blame Soul Eater. Okay. Y you know they are. Like, this is not an opinion. This is a fact, okay? They will do it, and there's nothing we can do to, to fucking prevent them from doing it, because the media is going to be the media. The media has nothing but stupid fucking retarded monkeys covering for them, and that's just the way it's always been and always fucking will be. God damn it. It's so, god, just... I just don't know what to say about this. Like, I was actually, I actually found this article because uh, Chibi Reviews uh, posted it on the uh, Chibit Community Facebook page, or PP... He posted the article and said he was going to make a video about it. It's actually up, but I haven't actually watched it yet. But that's actually how I found out about it. This came as a complete fucking shock to me. I had no idea before this I was going to make, be making this video, okay? But I had to make a fucking video about this. One, because, you know, I haven't done a rant in a while. I wanted to do more rants. But another thing is just that, like, wh what is there to comment on about this? Like... She's a fucking 14-year-old girl who read Soul Eater and decided to burn her house down trying to kill her mother and her 9-year-old brother. Like... And I mean, I'm glad that no one was actually hurt in it, but... And like I said before, you know they're going to fucking blame Soul Eater for this. Because they always fucking do. Whenever something like this happens, they always fucking blame Soul Eater for it. And, no, I'm sorry, like, I feel really bad for her mother that this that she almost died because of her daughter. I really do, don't get me wrong. But it's I still kind of blame it on her mother because, like, studies have repeatedly shown that if you're, that, that m most of the time, like 90-some percent of the time, if you have good parenting tactics, shit like this won't happen. Again, yeah, you'll never get exact like that, but... And I could be completely wrong about this woman. Maybe she was doing everything she... Literally doing everything she could, but it still happened. But... My question is, what are they, exactly are they going to do with the girl? Because... I mean, will they actually send her to juvie? Or will they actually put her in a mental institution? Because I've seen minors get put in mental institutions before. Or will they just put her in jail, in prison? Who knows? But... Like, I don't know what they're going to do with her now, but this is just pathetic. Really, it is. Like, I thought we were past this in society. That's the big thing. Like, I haven't heard something like this in, like, two to three fucking years. I thought we were past this bullshit. Okay? I really, really did. <clears throat> but apparently not. Apparently, I was not kind of naive me of all people being kind of naive to think that we were actually past this horse shit. You've got to be fucking kidding me. Okay, I think I'm going to wrap up this rant. I know it's not a very long rant, but there's not really a whole lot for me to say on this. Because it's like, it's the same garbage that we've seen so many fucking times before. God damn it. Okay. <sighs> Anyways, like I said, I'll put, post a link to uh, this video in the description box below. And I'll also post a link, or no, this uh, article with the video on it in the description box below. I'll also post a link to a Chibi, Re Ch Chibi, yeah, Chibi Reviews video as well after I watch it in the description box below. Okay? And in case you want to see his video or you want to read the article or see the video on the article or whatever. Yeah, but she's kind of fucked now because... One account of arson and two accounts of attempted murder. I don't care if she's a minor. There's a 99.9% .9 chance that she's probably going to get tried as, as an adult. And one account of arson and two accounts of attempted murder for an adult is a pretty fucking steep uh, 
thing. A pretty fucking steep offense, you know. So yeah, she's probably kind of fucked now. Um, so yes, but anyways, overall, I hope you enjoyed this rant, guys. I hope to be doing more of these in the near future. See you after, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.